Hey beauties and cuties, welcome to Power Talk Ends and you already know, I'm your girl Sheena Lynn Hansen. Here is holy, not only that, here is where you get your daily inspiration, motivation and empowerment. You can always depend on this channel to give you a word of encouragement. Today I'm praying for you that the Lord will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing you will be able to contain. God bless you and keep you and I want to thank you all for liking, sharing, commenting and subscribing and if you have not subscribed as yet, what are you waiting on? Please stop what you're doing right now and subscribe and click the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I drop a new video. Now stay tuned because your soul is about to be edified, God glorified, and the enemy horrified and terrified. We'll be right back. We are rise and I take over territory. We are break some curses lyrically. We are shake some kingdom literally. Now nah, show Satan no sympathy. Young people make we grow spiritually. Stop war with the neighbor physically. Draw for the Holy Bible daily. Humble a God feet like baby. Tired for see family in a cemetery. Youths them need guidance mentally. Stop abuse young girls sexually. We need Yeshua in a the industry. See it and I try rob you your destiny Young girl, keep your identity Hey guys, how are you? Let's go to the comment section and give God a mighty, 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 mighty praise Guys, you have no idea how much I love you I love you guys so much, I appreciate all of you Thank you for 11,600 subscribers I started out from 139 or 193, one of them subscribers, and I'm at 11,600. I love you guys. Thank you for the support. Not, not supporting me for the glorification of me, but for God to be glorified. Um, so many souls have been saved. So many people has been transformed. And I'm happy that God would have entrusted me with a ministry that would be bring him glory. For me, it's still make him known. So please go to the comment section right now and give him a mighty, mighty praise for what he is doing in the now. And if you have not heard the snippet of my new song, bam, 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 go to TikTok and listen to it and tell me if I should drop the full song. Glory to God. So guys, today's story time is where I'm going to share my miscarriage story with you. Now, many people have gone through a miscarriage and it's probably one of the worst things I could have ever, ever, ever been through. It's probably one of the worst things I've ever gone through. And up to this day, I've always had fear of having children, but on up until this day, I want kids in the future when the time is right, but it's still such a fear for me to really like just think about it. And I love children so much. I had such a devastating miscarriage and I wanted to share it with you. From the, and for anybody that is going through that now, I know it's not the easiest thing to be with, even more so depending on how long you were carrying the child. You know, I was talking to a lady that carried her child like full term. Was it like eight months? And she lost the baby. She actually gave birth to the baby and the baby died. And um, so many people, probably your miscarriage probably would have been three months, you know. You don't know, but it's never an easy thing to deal with. Many people suffer mentally from miscarriages. And we just thank God for all the women that are strong throughout this event. And I'm telling you, that miscarriage had shaken me up. For me, it was an evil ritual that caused my miscarriage and it was something from my generation i remember i had a cousin that was pregnant during the time i was pregnant she was pregnant with twins and she went into hospital this week not this week as in this week just to share she like for instance she went into hospital this week she lost her twins she gave birth to her twins twins that were actually moving but they died 
And um, next week, I I went into the hospital having a miscarriage. Now, there was a spe specific woman. Uh, she I think she was related to my grandmother. And I don't remember if it's a cousin or, so, or a niece, but she was related to my grandmother. And I told her that I had gone through a miscarriage and she would have known that my other cousin had gone through a miscarriage last week because we were close like that me and the other cousin so i shared with her that um and this was even when i was in scene just to be you know correct i said to her that you know i had a miscarriage me lose the baby and she said oh i'm to you man no worry about that man a suffering side of family stay we lose the first bond, but when you go back for a baby, you got to have a whole heap of baby. And I didn't understand the ritual that they were continuing in the in this family, in this generation, until I got saved and started to ask questions when learning about generational curses and generational sacrifices and altars and blood sacrifices and all these things. This was when I started to realize that my whole miscarriage was a, 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 a demonic thing. And um it's 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 a it's a thing that would happen to all of the female first children. That's what I've learned, that's what I've understood. But when I started to think about even as a Christian now started to think about even the very fact of how I got pregnant, I started to realize that it was all I set up from the enemy. Um, not saying that me and the gentleman didn't make that child in love. And apparently we were kids. This wasn't, I don't think it was love we was making, you know, it was just probably just being rude or whatever. It's kids, when we say kids, it's like 18, around 18, 19 or 17, 18, something like that, yeah, somewhere about there, but even just the thought of how I got pregnant, because when I got pregnant, I knew exactly when I got pregnant, see, I've shared stories of dating other men before that wanted to get me pregnant, they would, every single time they would have sex with me, they would ensure to ejaculate inside of me, just to be decent, to ensure that I got pregnant. No, no matter how oh, I've those relationships that with, that I was in that I tried to have babies for those other guys. Listen, in no matter how them try, them never get me pregnant. Never ever. Never ever get me pregnant. I will try. I remember my first boyfriend was saying to me, listen, we need to get pregnant. And I would have drink single Bible, aloe vera every day. I try to get pregnant. The other guy wanted me to get pregnant. I don't know what about me. So every time some meet somebody, they might tell me about baby instantly. So them did want to get pregnant. And me, I tried the single Bible thing. I'm never did I get pregnant. None of those but one, two, none of those three guys couldn't get me pregnant. But I end up dating this guy. And even so, we were still having unprotected sex. And I still wasn't getting pregnant. But the reason why I said even the way I got pregnant was demonic in my eyes. This is what I believe. And when it all narrowed down, it's because I was having sex with this guy, this young man in a river. And... May I tell you, there's some things in my generation, there's some things that was that was tapped into when I really sanctify, if you don't understand what I mean. So I believe that though it would have appeared that this guy that I was have sex was the one that have got me pregnant, I believe it was an evil pregnancy. I, I believe to this day it was an evil pregnancy. I got a I, I had sex in a river and the minute I had sex in that river, when we were finished, I was walking along. Now I've had a lot of experience with that 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 river before where persons I remember I was going to this revival church and this those woman would tell me what the woman in the river would say, Oh my pretty or something she'd have said the maid and them something, they may not want to go in or anything, but she always said, the maid, I look for me and this and that. I was going to a revival church. I tell her, I said, God, the reason why I'm a dear to the people are because I got here. 
because God has great purpose to me. I couldn't do nothing else because nothing at all could have saved me. Because me, I tell you, I experienced some serious things. Then normal. So, you know, this revivalist church when we used to go, and I always tell me, say, don't go back to the river because the maid says she love you and the maid says she did that. So, they decided, and it so happened. That is in the same river me get pregnant. You know that same river me get pregnant. And this is where I say I know it was and I feel I felt deeply in my spirit that it was a demonic pregnancy. Because everybody else that tried to get me pregnant, I've never got pregnant before. And the minute they have sex in that river there, where they might tell me all these things that whosoever, whosoever they might talk to, whichever source from where them they might talk to, all of a sudden, anyways, it was a very painful pregnancy from the beginning. The means that as I come out of the river, my feel something shoot down in my womb. Like me know exactly when I get pregnant. Me know exactly. As I come out of the river, so it was something shoot down in my womb. Me stand up. Me know exactly. Me know exactly. So it was at that moment. That's how I know. So I feel like in my heart. So the pregnancy, the demonic. So I feel something. I start to feel some pain. I feel some I feel some whole heap of pain. In me. When I just get, when I just get, it's like before me even do the test. I know something I'm pregnant. I feel it. I know something different happened. As I come out of the river, I know something different happened. Something happened. I know. So even so, so, so before them even give me a pregnancy test, I know so many pregnant. Anyways, I start to feel some pain. After the sexual activities, I attack like the next day. And I know because I bend up or I bend over or I bend up. I never not like that because me is a naturally flexible girl. So me you always attack so me a bedroom bully so it's like no position could make me feel that pain the way me did a feel in a mm -mm. so me started to feel this pain and this unbearable back pain and them little things there and i guess what was happening was whatever was going on wanted me to go and check and confirm that i was pregnant so me start feel the pain me i put my back a pillar now and them something there now the guys start to say I mean I tell you that this happened quickly it's like the day after is like it's the day the day after the whole scenario in the river I mean I tell you now as I come out of the river the same river where people the river of all these people are telling me say whosoever had not the river has said message to me with them I don't know I don't know my love and I one bug or something, not even one go into it because it's crazy. I'm going to share the revivalist experience in our story time one next time. But people of God, I know immediately say I was pregnant as Mr. step out of the river because I feel a sharp thing go down in my womb. But it's like I just immediately click. I don't even know how I know. I just know. The next day, I start to feel all kind of pain. I mean, I put my back or something like something go on in the womb down. There's something that go on. And people are going to tell you now, start feeling pain and like the guys start saying, you're pregnant, you're pregnant now. And da -da -da. I remember I first me I get pregnant in the boat. I never know if it is, I never me think so, but I never know. So So the pain start get bad and bad and my back start hurting. Me. And I can't move forward and I can't move backward. And this is suddenly, people are got suddenly. I can't move, I can't move. I mean, then I'm a mother house as well, too, you know. Then my mother also said, Come and live with my mother. I never got live with my mother when she moved out of my father's house. You know, because we did start going to church because the guy also related to the people, the persons that were the pastor of the revivalist church. So the boy, when we get pregnant from, related to the people, then we had the revivalist church people, then we also did I tell me who's to ever had the river, did I say what for me? When we go through some things, you know, my mommy tell us, say, finish God, do look at something for me. Try not to say, we go through it, man, we go through it. May God bless me and peace. So I start feeling this pain. So I go down to the church and the woman, the woman immediately, one of them dead now. I don't I think I two of them dead, them say. But immediately, 
I mean, and and I don't have a problem with the guy because I talk to him even now. If I see him, I talk to him. I like my mother because at the time, I yeah, my, my like my mother-in-law because at, at the time, yeah, my mother-in-law did nice because when I'm pregnant, she really do do them. Never have it like how them probably have it now, but she really tried to help me because she has some pregnant for her son and her son never did that work. I mean, never did that work. We are picking we are young, you see me? So I don't nah bash nobody. I just say that people have to way for getting them feelings. The truth is, the guy was related to the persons that were the pastors and the, the leaders of the revivalist church. The, the same people that told me whatever from under the river was saying what about me and how oh, pretty and him love me and one bag of something about me and send a message for me and me and come for me and oh, some stuff, stuff, some stuff, some weird stuff. Anyways... I start feeling pain as my God to church and like them because like my mother can forget prayer did it cause really and truly if me didn't know me know no in a Christian no. move to God at the church then come and watch them the people they preach a fire sermon and people speaking and tongues and all kind of things and after them done them care people run back and back them um if me didn't know then when me know now, them could ramp with me like, I would go to that church. Because I would get my spirit defiled. We now understand that sometimes when I go to some places, I seek hell. We are sick, we are sink with self deeper and deeper and deeper into sin. I wouldn't have gone to that church. I'm telling you, these people will preach and preach and preach and preach good. But carry on at the back after you after you give your bath and tell you say, buy this a perfume at the drugstore and buy them something at the drugstore. And me and my mother been a go to Wally for witchcraft attack from a longer time. So me I say, we we we, we, we buck up on them people yeah, we I say them a try help because when you don't know, you see my people perish because of lack of knowledge lack of knowledge and we were sinking ourselves deeper into bandages because we did not know. So people are got me dead eh? I will go to the people and them I come here and tell them no so I feel pain. And so the woman said, <laughs> pregnant. And I was to be baptized in the church. She said, God, I was to be baptized in the church like the other week. But through me and the boy that I talked to them, but never really know because me and the boy are under discreet. I would have just hide and have sex and him someday. But them know we like each other, but nobody now know when we are linked. That's why we could have got link and have sex in a river. Weird. So the woman immediately said, mm-hmm. You know, if you know, now bash revival people, you know, me, I'm not interested in revival churches because of my experience, but I don't bash revival churches because them say you have good revival church, you have bad revival church. And honestly, sometimes my and the way of my anointing radical, sometimes I feel like say this and and a, a revival anointing for my life also. You understand? Um, my daddy, no, and the woman said, mm hmm, pregnant. I mean, I said, no, but me know, come, know what I'm feeling, you know. Me know what I'm feeling, say, something happened, something happened. But once you say pregnant, me, I go like, me, no, 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 we no, come, start fretting, I remember me and my mother are struggling, you know. When we could not do it, baby. And the boy has struggled too. So, when he would not do it, baby. My God, let me tell you something. Two other pregnancy, they may be most hungry and I'm into your life. I thank God for my mother in law at the time. I'm a thank God for everybody who do what they could I do. But I, when I get pregnant, I'm the hungriest, I, 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 I the wickedest I ever be hungry. I feel when, me, when, when the belly are growing on me, I mean, I get hungry, you know, because we now work, we now no way, we now no money, you nobody know, now no money, you know. I mean, I tell you, say, pick me, I climb up in my stomach, I'm hungry every time. I feel the baby, I climb up in my stomach, I saw me after. But the baby, I climb up in my stomach, I feel I jump up in my mouth. I tell you, that, that baby there. I'm <laughs> like, it's not going to give me hell. Because I feel some pain. I said, I have to be able to clean up my stomach. And I feel a drop up. And I drink the water. Because the water alone, I have. And the baby go down a little. And it come like, as the baby realize, say, water. The baby start coming more. And I feel a drink the water again. And the baby go come. I don't have no food. I don't have no money. I'm hungry. I'm pregnant. And I see one little buckle. We look at molasses, and uh, every time a picnic come up in my stomach, like a picnic hungry, too, you know, we tip the molasses by my tongue, and then go down, and when you rise up again, we tip the molasses by my tongue, and then, and then go down until somebody be care some chicken back and dumpling come kill it. Girl, boy, 
I am telling you enough things me go through. Anyways, when the woman say before that I fast out, when the woman say, hmm, she pregnant, I go down a clinic and everything now. Go do pregnancy test. My love down a St. Jacob clinic. Ma, the Chinese man say, congratulations, you are pregnant. Hey, Lord Jesus, now me have got to tell Ivy, say, her daughter pregnant. Where me not supposed to I get na pregnant come me and my mother is struggling. What you doing with baby? If we can't even find food to eat, where we gonna get baby for eat? Hey <laughs> now me tell them me tell the guys I'm pregnant, I'm excited. My mother never so excited. My mother in law and her son and she believes say once the baby them born them I feel live. But I love that lady there. I'm not in a lie. I love my mother in a lie. I'm not in a lie. My mother never said so excited. But you have to understand, me are one daughter. Me get pregnant. And I like to say, my baby father could have helped me. Two are we hungry. The two are we hungry. So she upset for the choices when we make. She can't believe, say, we are struggling. No, I'm going to get pregnant. And the whole are we are going to struggle now. Mother said a struggle, father said a struggle, what we gonna give baby. My daddy, at the time my baby father they live in a one little board house and I tell us, you know man, when it enemy just won't keep your dog in you know, the man. You see, enemy do everything for child keep my dog. And God do everything for sure Satan say me a him. And you can't keep down Sheena. Because Sheena will make the mistake. But she now get up back on her feet by the help of God. All the time. So I didn't know people are God. I go through that pregnancy. I take my time. I still go to church, the revival church. Um, all kind of things. I remember when I was pregnant, you know. I a woman stand up and say, you know, the revival church, you know. You see that little girl that was in your belly market. I never knew what kind of belly me have. And I, do, and I like to say I know what people are doing gender reveal and them something. My belly did young. I know how she know what kind of baby me did have. The belly did like young. The belly did like three months when she said that. Because my daddy and me I got church. Me I got church. See me the revival church. Me I tell you, so you know, say, me, me, me continue and my spirit continue and defy because them not straight. Some something where them are doing straight and I when me learn about God and the things of God, I understand say, some things that them are doing and I make a partake in and I make a drink and I make a do, it never straight. So me I get deeper and deeper in a bandage. So the woman just get up and you see, you see, you little girl, you see that little girl there in your belly, that little girl there go kill you. My, if you stay there and behave yourself. And that she woman just said, she said, baby in my belly, I go kill me. I tell you in that church me day. And I just want I didn't want a little church. Why am I telling you about it? And the woman stand up and said that and she get up. I was just said a little girl in your belly, I gotta kill you. My mama belly young, oh you know. She start jump on one foot. She jump on one foot. She jump and she jump and she jump and she jump and she go on. I did it with my pregnancy. Me I worry about me then me three months pregnant, probably three months pregnant, I worry about bo 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 child's birth. Every minute me ask my mother in law, it at it at and never tell me it feel when I feel and I say, girl, stop worrying about child's birth. Just when you're afraid if you have baby, just go and go have your baby. You know? <clears throat> me I worry, me I fret nothing now go on. I start look shaky now, I look good again. And all kind of things are gone. My baby father nice and cute though, because he was a little one thing but me like little but me like a boy them not little boy come not like little boy. If I'm one day, yeah, this is some school boy, I'm here to tell him for me, it's not a cool guy, I'm not looking like a little bit. So I'm not wanting to think to hear Mr. Letter and take me. But him be nice and cute, him just pretty, mother pretty and him just pretty. So I say, why am I gonna get a nice pretty baby? People of God. Remember me did tell him to say, when me have the miscarriage, me tell the woman to me have the miscarriage at my granny family. I should say everybody in the family lose the first band. <laughs> and, and remember me telling you why me tell why me believe the, the pregnancy be demonic. 
No, my cousin, me did in my pregnancy now. Me go there, my back got things for my skin, give me some prenatal pill. Him say, me, me take the pill them, make the baby grow healthy in a me belly. Me take the pill them, but my honestly, my pregnant and me not eat good. My honestly, my pregnant and my hungry most of the time. But my not in a lot of my, 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 the child's father do the best he can to make sure I say my have something but the two are winner of it and his mother do the best he can make best she can for try to help with but no we don't have it literally we're poor at that time we're poor we're poor poor and pregnant mommy not have it my mother over there over fear yeah she not have light now what and then me coming at this youth yeah the people, them borders, come live with them. Them keep them borders clean, though. But you know what I mean? We never have it. We're poor. And these people are living good now. Just to put that in there. I mean, I say, you know, no, we don't have it. We're poor. I did it. I did it. I did it. Plus, this whole thing, you know, the people, them are plant some because negative seed. I say, my mother no want the baby. The mother want me to dash the baby. My mother said, bad prayer for the baby. When my one thing with my mother is not she never happy about the pregnancy, but she never care. My God, no abortion, and she never tell me for that she my baby. She never told me to throw away my baby. She don't do that yet. She never do that yet. My mother is not them type of person. They, but remember one time, me did a go to school and me eat up this whole heap of crab. But me did remember me did have my boyfriend as me telling you, I mean, I didn't do that unprotected sex. I me start to get sick in the house. Me start to get sick in the house every minute. Me ask Peter, my mother say, I, I can't. My remember my mother say, I can't pregnant. You know, I'm pregnant for me. You think me I care go do no abortion? I, I can't. You know, you know, I'm pregnant for me. My mother did things. I'm pregnant. My mother start crying. She she call somebody on the phone and she say, she, no, she never call nobody on the phone. Like she, I think she did call somebody for advice because she never knew me pregnant because I'm sick up, but a crap me got eat. And I spit on for me to a place a whole heap of crap me got eat, but she not nah, hear me say she had things that she may have either have boyfriend or pregnant. And she still, even when people are saying, yeah, I've got care, I've got one abortion, you can't make sure I got queens and pregnant for you. But my mother never care, I'm going to do an abortion. So me, big girl, I just out of school now. She never did a good care, I'm going to do an abortion. So yeah, she never happy because we were poor. We would be poor and I deal with poverty. She, she never happy about it, say, well, are we poor? But she never tell me for that she's my baby. She never care me go do no abortion. She never do nothing like that. She just did accept it and just my mother is a woman of faith. She just a praise me go. She would be the most she worry about say one day I'm never lose a pin in a child's birth. Every day she a pray God safe delivery, safe pregnancy, safe delivery, safe pregnancy. And that the woman I pray for. So when them used to sow seeds and I thought, well, my mother do this and put things in my mind, say, and my mother make the baby dead and my mother do. Yeah, it wasn't my mother. She never happy with it as anybody, me her only child. As any mother would have seen me, her only child, the baby father poor, she poor, all of we not poor. Well, why would that think about getting pregnant? Says a mother and a mother would have think that, but she never have nothing against nobody. Should I want better for her daughter? Yes. But she not hate people. And I think recently the chef mentioned that to the to the guy, because we are friends now. And him still believes, say I'm a mother, cause it for happen. But really and truly, it was demonic. I mean, I think nothing different. The whole thing was demonic. Some sacrifice go on. And that was it. I'm sorry, so my body did have to be a body to carry out this evil work. But something happened. And um, I remember getting my belly get older now. My belly get, my belly get older. My belly I get big now. And when I go through the pregnancy, I go through the suffering, I go through me, I go through what I just want to have my baby, write down my baby, them name. Me I think about what I get baby clothes, get baby this, get baby that. And by that in the end of my life, you know, what about things? I don't know what I get now, but I believe to God say it's going to work out. I mean, my baby, Aliyah, or Talia, something with me. Baby, come here, say, I want to have a girl, but I don't know if I have a girl. So I write down four boy name and four girl name. And I'm kind of excited about the baby because my mother in law used to make me comb her ear. And every time I comb her ear, her ear just like, get longer and longer. She said, Look how my big, look how my grand, she always touched my belly. I said, Look how my grandbaby, I grow my ear. Look how my grandbaby, I grow my ear. Because every time I comb her ear, her ear just like, grow, I grow, I grow, I grow. And you know, 
So we did excited to have the baby. But as the belly got older, we got through, I started to get sick. I know. Hmm. We got through it in the channel. I really don't look like I'm a big Jew. But remember, my cousin did in the hospital I lose her baby. I'm a day in there and them cook some bully beef and dumpling. I'm a get the bully beef and dumpling and my baby father at the time. My baby father at the time. Hmm. He add up the food for me and I sit down out of the door and I block right in front of the board house and me eat the food and feel good enough. Come here, say, Daddy, let me feel good. Come here, say, at least my baby get my, my belly full and my baby can't eat. And people are got him. In the other day, I feel good, say, me eat and everything. I'm going to the outside bathroom, go bed. When I go bed, I see. Be a slime and blood for my rag. So me you now I say, oh, what is? Me even start thinking about my cousin and fear of losing a baby. Me just wonder why me pregnant and blood I come out of me. Blood I come out of my vagina. Me go in and me tell my mother in last time me smear the blood, you know. And she say. Go and watch him, man, and I'm that serious. And she call one next church sister. One next sister. I mean, we love church and also me all the time. Same time, I never see if she call our family. And our family, I say, so many be pregnant with so and so many that bleed, man. That's all right. Some people bleed during their pregnancy. We start fretting on my mind, but that it kind of comfort me a little bit. I mean, I say, all right, then. I just watch it when I start feeling a pain in it or nothing. I just I see the bleeding every minute. I go to the bathroom. I see the bleeding and the bleeding and the bleeding. And I say, boy, I'm still there. Tell her I'm feeling I'm fretting up. I say, I'm still a bleed. I'm so long, I bleed. I'm so heavy, I bleed. And I say, yeah, man, I bleed when I'm pregnant. Sometimes some people bleed when I'm pregnant. And then I'm going to go through the days and pass. And I bleed people like that. I start feeling some pain. So I said, but I have the dead, dead baby in me for one week. One week before me finally go down to the hospital. Because I did a pet and powder the pain. And then I tell me, say, I say, because sometimes when people are pregnant, but me I bleed like crazy people. Me I bleed, me I bleed, me I bleed, me I bleed. Every time I go out in the outside bathroom, I bleed. Bleed me, I bleed me, I bleed out so slime me, I bleed. Me say no, me I tell my mother, me I tell her say the way me in a pain, me can't move. Me start feel some pain, me start feel some pain, me start feel some pain. Me think me got dead every time I drive for the job I sleep, me I feel some pain, me feel some pain, me feel some pain, me feel some pain, me feel some pain. Me now feel a movement in my belly, me feel some pain, me feel some pain, me start feel some pain, me start feel some pain. I say Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Me feel some pain, me feel some pain. My mother got on a a tens a Spanish tone the the over the counter pharmacy, and he say. I ask him where can care for pain and she have she pregnant and then give me some parasitic or some setting or something for pregnant woman. Something. When me take it, the first time I take it, pain going on, but me still a bleed. So me glad to the pain going on, come here and say, Yeah, I chew them attack. I chew them attack. Um Sometimes pregnant people feel pain, but see me take one pill there, I feel good. I take a pill now, I start wind up myself and wind up my belly now. Me still a bleeding now, still a vamp, you know. But me a wind up myself now, I say, yeah, man, all right, my baby, all right, now, my baby. All right. You see, as a pill wear off, I start feeling pain. I say, I go back in a depression again. Me I say, no, man, I feel the pain. People, I go through days and days, I feel this pain, I deal with this pain, I deal with this pain. In my belly, in my womb. Now, I say I did the baby, I did, you know. 
I may have bleed, I may have bleed out, I may have bleed out, you know. I'm for God, doctor, for money, you know, but no, no, we don't have no money for God, doctor. I mean, now go down to the hospital. No, no, we don't have no money for God, doctor. No, nobody not have a cent for God, doctor. If we don't have to go, we be able to find money for buy food. We don't have no money for God, doctor. So, them are telling me, say, no, nah, man, no, no. Them carry me and them wash me off. Them bat me in this and them bat me in that. Them bat me in this and them bat me in that. Them Tell me for walk over this and walk over that. I still a feel pain. I still a bleed like a pig. People will feel some pain. You see, when it come down to the last part, I see my body start to get blue. I feel some pain. I feel some pain. I feel some pain. You see, when they realize, my people got me and start repent. I start repent. I say to myself, say, me, I got dead because this pain is normal. I mean, I said, I'm dead on my bed for a few days. I'm a feel pain. A ball and a big God. Oh, Jesus. I feel some pain. You see, when the people as say, she really not move. She really not not help her. No more to bath, whatever they bath me with. Now move. I saw somebody go borrow my, my mother in law at the time go borrow one tree grand. I mean, we go to the hospital. When we go to the hospital, people are God. The doctor put me on the bed. He man want woman. He tell me for open my legs. When I open my legs, the man pushing big finger them up in my vagina and I'm a press. And I'm a press. And I'm a press. And I'm a press. And I scream out of me. I scream out of me because it, imagine me I lose one baby. Them time, I mean, I know I lose the baby, but the baby inside of me is dead up, dead enough. But I mean, I know I lose me, I lose the baby. And the man I press and I scream out. And the man I go look for me and say, don't ask Spanish stone hospital. I tell you, say them unprofessional, them unprofessional, them unprofessional. But it, you know where man say, when him finger up, where you going so far? Where you going so far? Where you going so far? And him press, and him press, and him a press down in a vagina, and him press in a and then call so in take him and out there and then call somebody else and then push down them and in a vagina and them a remember me I tell them I feel pain people and me I bleed out. And I'm a press and the man I wonder why me a scream and I'm a press in my vagina like that. Tell them I go through some something. And when I'm a press and I press people, God, after that him send me. I tell them I tend to my vagina, tend to my belly, tend to me in a pee and everything that happened to me, dead baby in me. And him said to me, say, I, I'm not seeing anything. Like I said, something not open, so I'm not see the baby. Nothing is wrong with the baby, but I need to do a, 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 a emergency ultrasound. All right, I feel comfortable. When him say, him not see nothing wrong with the baby, see him? I'm going to the bathroom, go take a peep when them done suck and me suck me with them finger. Me see one big blood, something drop out of me and it's shaped like one pyramid. Me never that think into it. Me just think, I said, but it, me, it, it just drop out so, like what? I mean, I said, no, Jesus Christ, this look like, this can't natural. All of them said, nothing wrong with the baby. This can't natural. This can't natural. The pain, the, the, the blood, it can't natural. I'm a dead people, I got it. I go back home. I go back over my mother. Come and me, I go over my mother and left my mother in the morning and go do the ultrasound. People like God, me dear, my mother, my mother, and I like my mother, and I water. My lady don't find a place in the dark. And me, I say, pee and I lick out my belly bottom. And my mother, them say nothing wrong with the baby, you know, but they need to know what's causing the bleeding, so they want to do an ultrasound. People like God, me remember in the night when me, I feel the pain in the hours of night, me see one black spirit come and put him on cross my face. So, Kodobuska, Shebrovska, Brovska, Bra, 
Brabba Sata. Me see one dark spirit come, one dark spirit that come. Like, ah, Sheko, thank you, Holy Spirit. That was the spirit of death. It have to be the spirit of death. Yes, man. Put the, yes, if I, if something sets over my face. Yes, when something sets over my face, it starts screaming out, screaming out, screaming out, screaming out, screaming out intensify. I mean, say, why? 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 I mean, still listen me, I scream, I mean, I bleed and blood I come down my foot and my mother, them take me up and put me up on the toilet. When I put me up on the toilet, one big something drop out of my vagina, so bloody something drop out of my vagina. And when when, when we start screaming, now my mother look down in the toilet and see everybody start screaming because they might wonder what that mark you. What me tell you, say, I sleep and sleep at in the hours, the dark spirit come on. And from that, I start VPN and blood starts through. And my God tell it and something drop out and my mother start screaming and somebody else was at the house, we start scream. But we see the something drop out and I say, no man. I must lose me lose the baby because what that something look like a crow. Something drop out of the, the vagina where they look abnormal market. But now I said that woman it can be anything but something never everybody starts screaming. I'm going to go to the ultrasound. In the morning in a pain. Can't ever be good. People are got no weak. You ever feel pain so bad so till all your limbs give way, everything give way. And you got to be ultrasound. The woman put something from my belly and she has search and she has look and she has press in and she has press out and she has press in and she has press out. And she has press and she has press. Anyway, she come out of the room and she says she has to do an internal ultrasound because she cannot see the baby. She says she can't see the baby. She don't know what. But she cannot see the baby. Hmm. My friend. She pushed the internal ultrasound something in my vagina. And she lean it to one side, lean it, and she lean it, and she lean it. And my mama tell her, doctor, them don't put them finger up in me and I do them same something. And she go put it something up in me inside of me, tend on my belly button, tend on me, and bleed everything. And people are going to understand the amount of pain on me, I feel. And all of them are going to do what I got to. And she push it up, and she push it up, and she said to me, say, um, unfortunately, you're having a miscarriage. So, I'm going to send you, I want you to go back down to the hospital and do a DNC operation. People, me hurt. Me hurt because me lose the baby. Me hurt because of the pain. It's like, in so many ways, me did so hurt. Me I cry. Me couldn't believe me lose my baby. And me hold my belly and me I cry. I said, God, why? I lose my baby. I lose my baby. I tell my mother, my mother, oh, my mother, she had cried. She had said, I'm going to be my daughter. I forgot about the hospital. I'm going to go over the counter pharmacy. I tell the pharmacy, say, I'm just in the time I'm in a pain, you know. I even look good, you know. I'm in a pain, sorry, I'm looking at the camera the wrong way. I'm in a pain, I'm in a evil look with enough people. I'm telling my mother, I'm just I'm here, I, have, I have a miscarriage. I'm a one one pill for clean on my inside and take out all this stuff and they have to come out. The man said, well, Oh, you know, you're having a miscarriage, Mr. I just did the ultrasound and the lady tell me. She said, How long you how long, how long have been going through this pain? I tell him one week. The man come from me and I say, you're a mad man. If somebody help me get a taxi for this young lady, you're, you're crazy. You can't come here and to pill. You're supposed to do a DNT operation. You're supposed to get them scrape out the womb. You're not supposed to come here and to pill to clean out that. Yeah, and you have this in here for one week. You know, you know that, you know how dangerous this is. You know, the man start getting mad for me and then get a taxi for me. I'm going to the hospital. No, people me don't like hospital. Especially when my go to them and say, I'm sitting there and waiting here till one bed empty because they're going to admit me, Jesus! Why? 
She the cake. Boy. The mother admit me. What me say me na do? Me na like hospital. <laughs> People them say, wait in this area because what? Oh, this one. For wait in this area because the mother admit me. I start ball now. Mark him, still a feel pain because the dead baby no come out. People are God. Them admit me for one place where be a people where I have make miscarriage them. So, all of the girls them in that era there, them I have miscarriage and them forgot to do one day and see operation. I start ask them if it act. Cause a theater me have to go now, you know. Cause a theater me have to go do the operation to go clean out the wound, you know. Me not even want telling us that I never even see the, the baby father until after. So well, it's well. It's well. It's still a good youth. Still, it's just that he me could a country me could deal with Allah. Where did that happen? So I understand. I <sighs> start talking to the girl, them in my pain, you know. Them feel, some of them I feel pain too, you know. Cause I miscarriage. It's like I'm getting at one place where I be a miscarriage go on this so. I guess them put have place in mothers where have kids where 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 are both going to labor and people who have miscarriage. That's so probably I think I said that's what I said. So I start asking one day if it act and the doctor them and the nurse them I say, no man, it not act, man, it just go and go do the operation, then you come on quick, quicker time and this and that, but the thing is, the operation cannot be done until after 12 midnight because the doctors that have to do the DNC don't come until after midnight. So we have to wait, we have to bear the pain under we drip until 12 midnight because those doctors didn't come until that time. I try to talk to the girl, they say, well, we in a pain, well, we a beg God, please help we. We are afraid for the DNC because all of we have got to miss carriage what an atmosphere anyways and in a pain and my agony it came after 12 them came upon the stretcher no them came in a wheelchair go around a theater them put one band for my hand because mark ya one we may have this baby in a name them put one band for my hand never sign one paper <laughs> my ask her the paper boat. They know them until they say if no, no I'm trying to feed them for da 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 whatever whatever. I'm going to the theater. Them inject something in my vein where them claim sick. What them tell me is that I'm gonna put me to sleep. But them inject something in my vein, but I was not sleeping. So them tell me to put my bottom in the hole. Them lock my foot in and want something. One of my foot them them me put my bottom in the hole. <laughs> It's the way I'm afraid of pregnancy you now. Like, you see them pain they when I feel? Ooh. So she said, when I go up on the bed, I put my bottom in my own. I put one of my foot in my own, something over on the right. And I put one of my foot in my own, next something on the right. Then lock down my foot. This so. My hands stretch out, them inject something on my vein. It made me drowsy, but it didn't make me sleep. So when them start now for push the something in my womb, one big iron something wake up. It's like my open my eye and I see big iron something when I'm a push up in me. Me start to scream. Me start to scream and I move. Me start to scream and I move. No, it hurt and it hurt and it me ear me me it hurt me. Me say no 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 me cry. Me say no no no. And I'm a scrape and me say no me I feel everything where them are doing in my vagina. People are got me at everything. That's great. I feel every single thing what they are doing in my vagina until the doctor said, no, no, take her off. She's not cooperating. She's not co cooperating. Pull her down. Pull her down. We don't care. Like, pull her down. We tried. You see that? We tried. I'm here. They might argue with them. Each other. We tried. She's not cooperating. She keep moving. She keep moving. And then people, them for put me to sleep. And I said, me keep moving. You ever put me to sleep? You never put me to sleep. When I put something on my vein, I'm in a sleep. Me I see big machine and more than I use and I scrape and it hot. Shoot. And me I talk about this and it come like me I feel the pain. Jesus, Father. It hot. It hot. It hot. People are good. Them take me up on the stretcher. 
them send me out for the next stretcher. <laughs> and the nurse them say, why are we you want to come dead pan? Why are you not cooperate with the doctor them? You have this picnic in your own land. Why are you not cooperate with them? Take out if you take out. Eh? Why are you not cooperate? Eh? Why are we you want to come dead pan? And a the nurse them I go on. I don't know if them nurses still there Spanish town hospital. And see, they want to say, see it? You can't do this again till tomorrow, you know? After uh, in a, uh, midnight, you know, so you have to go to the whole day for wait till midnight again. And people are God, them carry me back up, put me on the bed with them, add me my pants. You know, say the same hospital when me say me not like a two, you know, me go in there. They talk about you, Jesus Christ, Father God, thank you. Hooey, people, people are God. So, I'm going to go back in my pain. Then push me on the bed. I'm a ball and I'm a big god this time. I'm sick. Mark it, everybody. Whether they wait for operation, do them DNC come out and gone over recovery. And I knew people were coming with miscarriage. I sit now. I need a day, me not be. Jesus Christ. People are God, me I go to the pain, me start to pray to God, me I say, God, spare me life, God, I must say, no man, I did, that girl, I want dead. Me I say, God, spare me life, if you spare me life, me serve you, God, if you spare me life, me serve you, God, please spare me life, God, please spare me life. They say, people can't put them out by you, you're a woman, they say, you pick them in belly, they're gonna kill me. Hmm. Hi. I'm here to God, please spare me life, please spare me life. I said, please let me do the operation. Please make it good too, God. Please make them put me to sleep. Please, God, me know how I feel with them. I'm going to pray, I'm going to pray, I'm going to pray. I want oh, some people coming at the hospital. I, I pray for people and then come and then pray for me. And remember one of the women said, it is well. And you will be ill and this and that. I'm going to go to market. We can't eat you know, so I mean, I eat from the day before because I'm having the tripping on me. You can't eat, especially if you're going to go do operation. I can't eat. Anyways, people, you come like you pee and intensify the steel or the something getting out. I'm afraid of pregnancy. Bad, 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 bad. Oh, Jesus. No people may go back at the theater the next man, the next day. I want different doctor no me see. I want different, different doctor no me see. Then put me back on the bed. Then say put your bottom in the hole. Then lock my foot to the left and then lock on them tear out. So me see the machine where they gonna use. But this time them inject me. It's when them inject me, people are gone. Mark you know. Them they put a band for my hand when me a before then put a next band on my hand. And when I see them nurse them come around and say, you try to sit down and be yourself today, you know. Because you know, no say, I must got the pan for your side, make you not dead, you know. Sit down and be yourself, you know. Make them take out, clean or scrape out, why not, you know. Take your time. I be yourself, when I say, people, I'm going there as I send them put my bottom in the hole and then cock up my foot and lean it and latch it to that, I latch it to and the big machine, they right under my vagina, they saw, and them inject something on me, me, me knock out. People are going to know when me wake up. Me wake up back from the bed when me get admitted on. Tell me, say, God, no good. Me not feel when them scrape out the something. Me not feel when me come off my bed when them done. Me not feel when me reach back. Me not even know how them lift me up off my stretch up me on the bed. Me just wake up back Pan the bed when we get admitted in her. When we wake up back on the bed when we get admitted in her now. When we wake up back on the bed there, we start feel my belly and me now feel no pain. We feel tenderness in my vagina. We feel like a tenderness, but you see pain when we did that feel. Me now feel a pain there again. So I start to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you for spirit my life, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. And my mother I call, call me every minute, you know. I call, call me. Because she want to do the operation. She want to do the operation. Because she know me never get to do it the last time. Because I never did sit down. 
I am here tell say the same doctor who do the DNC come round in the morning, the nurse come. But 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 you think me did I sleep but my eyes them just you close my eyes and I thank God say me now nah, feel the pain. When me did I feel before me feel the tenderness in my vagina and the tenderness in my womb. But me now nah, feel the pain the like before. So she said to me, so the doctor come round to me and she touched me and she said, Miss Hansen, how are you feeling? And I tell her, I said, I feel alright. She said, you feeling any pain? And I said, no. She said, you feeling any tenderness? And I said, yes. She said, Miss Hansen, I want you to go up to the bathroom and pee and tell me what it feels like when you finish peeing. And when I go around the bathroom, the pee pee. I'm afraid when I go pee pee, no come me and say, what a go on, go on with me pee pee. But when me pee pee, I get my have a little bit of just the tender, never burn me, just the tender. I'm going to take my time on my pee pee, I'm going to tell her, I'm just a little bit tender. But the pain when I did not feel, I now feel like before. And she said, good, congratulations, you have a, a successful surgery. And, um, surgery. And she said to me, say, Um, she's me remember like the doctor said, no, I'm a little bit concerned. What what do you think could have caused this miscarriage? You know? You know, like somebody wants to say something to you, but then they know over say to say, I'm a little bit concerned. What do you think could have caused this miscarriage? I mean, I tell her something I know, and she just looked for me with professionalism and she said, Okay, I'm going to prescribe some tablet for you. So take safety, heal up your womb, and you can go out in the mud. After after the checks is done on you, you think you can go you can go home tomorrow. My daddy, I mean, thank God, say, thank God, say, I survived a miscarriage day. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. No, me have to deal with it the day now when we complete miscarriage. My mother come, my mother-in-law come. You know? I think my baby father did come when everything we done. But we did feel hurt, but me feel so joyful, say, we got through the operation good. We go home back. And that is all I get to tell the lady, say. I have a miscarriage. And she has everything good, man. You, you, you lose the first baby, but you got to have more babies. You got to have more babies. And people are going to do me promise God, say, if you spare my life, I'm going to serve him. Me tell myself, say, me, no one, no man can me. No one, no man can breed me. I make me a faith. Feel them the pain again. And that was one of the things that made me even more say me go like just be one full time lesbian. Cause I never want to be have to deal back with that pain there. And after that miscarriage, them launch out back in the lesbian thing full time. Yeah. After that, I feel left the church. Cause them say me I got dead, them a beat jump for me. There was so I forgot telling about my revival experience. You can't tell pan this a video. Cause them people they do me some something. I'm live to see them do all my mother some things me I tell you them no joke. But I forgot a different story time on that. But the people them never even as my church leaders them never come to hospital come look for me once. When me I go through the the the, 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 the miscarriage, the revival church day. And apparently when me hear them are saying you are dead, sugar, dead, dumb, yeah, whatever, whatever. But me get over that and you know, then the guy did talk a little bit after that until I just move on in my lifestyle, my alternative lifestyle, and I'm just done with man. You see me? So when we get saved, this is all me know say this to be money. I listen to some people's story about this whole um about this whole generational curse and altars and firstborn and him something. I'm start looking to it. 
And I started to take deeper notice of what the woman said to me, say, nothing wrong, man. I suffer, I suffer with the family. Lose the first bond, and then them have more. Hit me. Now, when we get here, we start to read up and learn about altars and sacrifice and them little things there. Some little, little things that we did see a one in our my family. At least one side. So I call one little birdie in the family. Actually, I call the same woman daughter. And as she started to tell me everything went up back then with me. Not my granny, but like my granny's sister them. Because them said my granny was a woman of God. But, you know, her sister, them and some other people. Like them mix up in a, some mis witchcraft or some little things. So them not to mix up in a so in Them little things are in my lineage. So I have to make sure so I cut them off. And with the gifting where God give me, if me did continue to stay in the world, I would have become a witch because of the things them where them practice and where them initiate for um, to the first, the, 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 the rest of generation. So if me never find God, would I be one big witch? Because based on some of the things that me said that at my home, I could have seen things and hear things, but me never did that operate in the right way. You know? But when we start to investigate about it, we start to realize that everybody on the side of that family, that every woman lose them first born. All of them, them first born, Pitney dead. So I realize it was the altar them I raised up. Them I raised up and I continue. So delicate evil something there. I that go on with me and my cousin. I'm saying. Pray, I'm a pray, I'm a pray, people of God. I'm a pray. Let me tell you something. I love my family, you know, people. But now I say I love my family, you know. Let me tell you something. I disconnect myself from my bloodline, you know. Me have to take a stand. I disconnect myself from my bloodline. Come I not take on nobody curse. For so long, the doors of my life was open to the things them what them do. And 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 I'm feel some consequences of death them generational practices. Me feel all the consequences. I'm shut off these doors. Me love my family, but me disconnect myself from them bloodline. Me take on the DNA of Jesus Christ. Me me know me is Jesus fitly now. Me can't me not take on them curse them. Me not take on them more them curse them, them sacrifice or anything them have practice or did a practice. But done with that. Me not taking on that. So me disconnect myself from my bloodline and me love my family. Father side, mother side, me love them. But me disconnect myself, my bloodline, me disconnect from them bloodline. Me take on the DNA of Jesus Christ. Me tell Jesus Christ to make feed blood run through my veins. You know? Me no me no business what they mix up in her. You see, whatever them start, stop with me. Whatever generational curse them start, it stop with me. It, it, it will not continue. Me realized that there was a strong depression, suicidal thing in my family, and it affected me so much. That the more that time, me try to me try suicide, and the more that time, even know me I fear, but beat and bat up depression. Me and depression in our big war because every time me pray the spirit away, it keep coming back. Me and depression a war like a man. I'm realizing this is a, it's a family thing, deep depression. So I have to take a stand and disconnect myself from my bloodline. I can't I mean, I have to take on them curse yet. Done. I mean, know that was a demonic pregnancy in a, every farm. There was so much open door, the revival church and whatever them say. Then that the open door to the family and everything combined. And me feel the pain and the pressure. No. No, me not be no generational consequences. Me I disconnect myself from a bloodline. I have to take a stand. Me not deal with poverty. Me not deal with depression. Me not deal with suffering. I'm me not dealing with um all of these suicide and suicidal thoughts. No, it don't. It stop with me. So I realize what it was. I'm realize even the same woman who tell me say the baby. I feel dead and I'm going to have more baby. She's the same one when my little used to come around and beat me down with that kind of bush and aisle me down and this and that. Sometimes, sometimes when I have to know, 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 I have to know,
Cause them a try to break them not try to continue one generational curse. Them a try to continue and, and keep up to one evil altar. Cause she used to come with me a little girl. Come and beat me and I bought me down with bush and I beat me with stick, bush stick and, and I'd speak her things them over my life when my mother would have leave me alone with her. Remember everything she done realized that she's a witch. She was a witch long time. She had come tell me about my family and God knows me see her, me see her already and me give her my money the same way, but she's a witch. Remember when me a little girl, she used to, me see she do some things. To the fact that one of the time, me never, nothing did I go on for me and me go to her and me and tell her, I said, so, me want some help because nothing not go on for me and she give me one long list of something for me to go to the drugstore and buy and me don't know why, me never buy it, me just never buy it. She was a witch long time. So sometimes we don't even know that. So I'm telling you, be careful. Who not there would be careful because some people and some family and something a curse. Witchy, them witchy and full of evil and full of demon. And then you, you, and then you can't just imagine two, two wicked people come together. Pam me one. If it had not been for the Lord by my side, we don't know what mother did. Because for me, little the people, them are trying to mess with my destiny. I try to mess with me. I try to mess with me. But thank God for Jesus Christ, the resurrected king, will resurrect my life. Thank God for Jesus Christ, we called Nazareth from the grace of Nazareth. Lazarus, Lazarus, sorry. Lazarus from the dead. Thank God for Jesus Christ to take off the, 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 the old battered and dead clothes them off of me and turn my life around because the enemy won't kill me so long. But they see a woman who tell me, say the baby have to sacrifice and nothing. We have to stop worrying. I see a woman when me young, she used to come around and use bush and a beard. Me spin around the girls be, and I beat me with bush. Not beat me as in beat me, but she has, Bush me, stop me with bush and a speaker, kind of things I beat me down in a this and a what. Sometimes some things happen to you in your life, or some people from your past, in your family, in your generation, raise up some altars. And we have, sometimes you have to just call it a day and disconnect from them bloodline. Me disconnect from my bloodline and me love my family. Certain things me not indulge in a certain reunion, me not go, certain things me not go, me not, I'm just not going. Me not getting myself involved in that because these things that happen to me not going to happen to my children. It stopped with me and I will have children, of course. Maybe just two or one. Or maybe get a twin one time because that pregnancy is something that still shape me up still. You know, but me can't adopt children see me. It just not going to whoever me under control of or under guardian of. You understand what I mean? Sometimes this kind of thing is the worst pain them that I ever feel in my life. I mark you. With the people, some of the revivalist people, them and then my side. You see how much open doors were there to evil? These revivalist people, them have beat me off with this and that and that. And then me have a family line, we raise up an altar with the sacrifice. There was so much things happening. But God, people are God. I tell myself, I'm just disconnect from my bloodline. I'm not deal with no more generational consequences. I never do the crime, I never bear the time. God, me disconnect from them. Me take on the bloodline of Jesus Christ. A God, blood, me want run in my vein. God, me not mix up in a bank around people. Me love my family, but I know every reunion me I go. I know everybody me I go. I know any, any family member can give me food to eat. Me not, me not, in a, me not in a certain bank around. Me not mix up in a family and no family. Holiness and righteousness me I deal with. Me not deal with nobody at tapping at illegal realms and them something they have to me no business who no want to do with yourself. Me not being a part of it. And my pity them now come be a part of it. I mean know if my mother didn't know better she wouldn't if she didn't know God like or she know God no me wouldn't have to go through some of them evil because some of some of these things uh that happened to me is evil, initiated and cursed and witchcraft. Some of them things, I'm almost, almost so young. I'm so young and I have to go through such a hard life and go through such a hard time spiritually and all kind of alley. Go through so much things, I'm so young. Some of them things that come like, say, from my father said and my mother said, me get it all like consequences them. It didn't have to stop with me. No, the people are going to think funny. When we look at it sometimes, even my mother said, if you're a young girl, you go through so much things. And I said, true. 
It is so true. It come like me get the whole of consequences them from my mother and father said. I mean, I said, no, man. God did have to come save me. God did have to come save me. God, me, never, me never deserve it because I never asked the man. But to purpose. To purpose, people. To purpose. Come like I get the whole life, but me, me glad the day I know Jesus Christ. But my life could have changed. People are God. I can't tell you, you just be careful. Family or not family. Not everybody touching a picnic, you know, picnic nothing. <laughs> Looking at no God for yourself. So you can't know what right from wrong. People perish because of lack of knowledge. No God for yourself. If you know God for yourself, you know, get mixed up in a certain things. Cause me know some bad, but I never know better for some of my things. Then, but what to my family, them we didn't know what they might do. Eh? Listen to me, man. I'm telling you, careful. Careful and sometimes watch it and, and look how it bad. That door that did done open in a, in a my generation. Then we go mix up with somebody. No, we are dealing with the same heaven and altars and all kind of things. You see when, when we get in like two sides? You see why the enemy did have an open door for coming at me? From each. And I say, I thank God for Jesus. People that I worst miscarriage that I ever go to. Some of these discourage, miscarriage are demonic. And we need to commit to pregnancy to God as we find out. Furthermore, before you even get pregnant, which you're not supposed to get pregnant outside of marriage. If you are married, you're sick. Because sometimes we need to do things the right way. Enemy have an open door right there. So too. You see me? Commit your home to God. I don't me have to do me. I have to commit my home to God now. Adapt me, you think them things that me have to do. God, me commit me womb to you. Me, 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 me liver, me lungs, me kidney, everything. I me have to commit these things to God. Me now left them up careless to the devil. That's why me try to live righteous and me try to live holy. Because me know spiritual evil things is real. I me have too much bad experience and God. That's why I say me can't turn back. People are God, they think, they think me can't play with God and God turn back. You want, you know, no, so Satan, I look for me if you me out like wheat. Me could have play with God, but me I turn back. If I know, let me tell you what I keep me. The bloodline of Jesus Christ that God put around me. The edge of protection. The wall of defense. And the, 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 the guard that God put around me. And the guard ring and the guard that God put around me. The angel that encompass around me. When make the devil can't come in. Me could have break them. The edge that God put around me. You know, so Satan won't kill me from my birth. Before my born, my, before my born at the mother home, the devil won't kill me. Before my born, me can't even begin to tell you what go on when my mother pregnant. Eh? Before my born, Satan won't kill me. So me, if I step out of the presence, I'm gonna step out of grace. For Satan come kill me, for what? I'm supposed to live on earth and feel my purpose and die and go everyone and celebrate with Jesus. You see how much things God saved me from for me got turned back? I mean, can't just imagine how much people under my sound and my vice right now. You go through how much things that when you look back on your life, you say, Africa, you could have want turn back. You could have want to sit down in a say and I serve God good. Me can't break this edge of a road, me, you know, because my break this out the edge of a road, me, he's a dead, 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 dead woman. Me can't break this edge, no matter how me feel. Sex couldn't make me break it. Money can't go make me break it. Nothing can't make me break this. Because if me break this edge from around me, I am just, it is suicide. I mean, would I kill myself? Me have a stain of the umbrella and the grace and the blood of Jesus. Me have a lift up the blood stain by the eye. Me have a declare Jesus Christ is Lord. Me have to continue to give God worship. Because if it had not been for God for myself, I don't know when would I die. Me have just me have the people that got me even shame for talk. Me just in my thirties. Ooh, when me could not do, I got through all of them some here. Talk truth. If it, if I know God, so me could not want to turn back or backslide. Me a front slide into greater grace and greater glory. No matter what come my way, if me even fall, me a stay under Jesus Christ. And not when listen, when I ah, me can't tell people for doing a prayer for me. Cause me now say temptation no come. Me not tell them to say some little things that come or some little man no come talking in your ear sometime. And you want to get GG. I me no want to smoke some weed sometime and drink a liquor sometime. You have to have self control. You just Go and pray for me because if I if I step out of the grace of God is death sentence. Wanna see your enemy want kill me? Hey.
God bless you no. I tell you no. Some of you no, go through something. Some of you no, go through worse than me. And you must give God thanks that you're still alive. And if I know God, I keep you. You wouldn't dare. And God get the glory for my life. I want thing with God. God could have make man do one million and one thing to me. But everything I have, I earn. And God finger the pan that. Everything. If I, I'm rent to you see me pay. And God provide somebody for me pay my rent. No, no ramp with God. God make sure say everything in my life, I him do it. So I can't go and say, Mark, John, or Joe. Pay for that. A march and a joke, give me that. Everything we have in my life, I want you to want piece of slippers. A God make you wear. A God make you wear out of nowhere. Everything we own is Father God. Everything we own. God decides that Sheena belongs to me and no man now get the glory for what I'm doing. Sheena. Oh, Sheena. So a man could have given me this. A man could have given me that. A man could have given me this. A man could have given me that. None of them things that God not make happen. God make me take time and Take time, accumulate, accumulate. For me, it's the same hands in my life. For me, it's the same take a direct and in the affairs of my life. Everything when I have, everything when I own, me anointing. Me, me, me not, you see me with subject? I if you see me talking in one decent place, you wonder if me a PhD or all kind of D. A God, God make sure same hand up on my life so strong. People will can't see say he is Lord. Me, I want to walk in miracle. Me is one of the people them for earth where God use and show you say I am still the reigning king. My life must tell you say God live and God live for real. My life must tell you say the hands of God is mighty and powerful. God and a joke thing. Me, my experience, my come up, my resurrection. A oh God, no man never do this to me. A oh God do it. They say, I sit down and that Jesus Christ, I sit down and say, now when I want to do worldly things, I sit down in that Jesus because nobody but Jesus. Nobody but Jesus Christ. People of God, sit down in a Zion. Eh? Sit down in a Zion. No matter what me I go to, me a ball and go to it. But me now walk out of God's presence. I best thing ever happened to me in my entire life. Me never see. No matter what me not have. Me not have the, the, this and the work and the that. But the best thing ever happened to me and for me is stay in a God. A God needs to do everything for me. People are God. If I want to look at this and it's sweet to me eat, a God provide it. No man. No man. God help me. Sometimes people say, you know the Lord tell me to bless you with this. He use people as channel. Me know cause he, he make sure make me know say I him talk to that person there for that person they give me this. So me know say everything me have come from him. He is my source and my resource. Everything I own people are God. Even my bed. I God give me that. When we say I God give me that, God put it on the woman heart. Say no, say God tell me to give you one bed. When we say. Everything me have a God. Even the ear on my head. One woman said, God, tell me, don't play. Don't play. God, give me everything. Everything. It is God that provides for me. Me don't know who provides for you. But I know, man, me did not work somewhere. I mean, I work. They know all me so far. God. People are God. Sit down in a Jesus. I me. If me turn on to God, dead sentence. Dead, 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 dead. dead. Mm-hmm. I encourage you today to sit down in our Jesus. And for the person that we have miscarriage, I pray for you, I pray for your mental health, because I know how it can affect you. But be very careful, because the weapons of our warfare are not kind of, but they are mighty true, God, and they are pulling down, to the pulling down of every stronghold. I'm more than I'm wrestling against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in higher lower places, rulers of darkness, principalities. So we have to come into home to Jesus. We not we we are carry home no tomb. We not fear be barren and we not fear have miscarriage. If it be fruitful, multiply, and replenish this earth. So I pray that every dark spell we have a hold upon your home, every curse, every generation and curse. In the name of Jesus, the same grace that God gives to me, maybe the same grace He gets to you. May you be fruitful and multiply in Jesus' name. God bless you. People of God, thank you so much. And for everybody, we come together for help me with power talk building and power talk equipments and all the things that the contract and all the things that we have to do. Thank you so much. I am not the person for telling you to say, God, so I see that I'm not going to get this. If God put it on the heart for blessing, 
bless me. Please bless me because we need it. There's so much things that we're working on. The project, them, everything. And then I'm going to be so proud when it is done. But please, I am begging some financial help. All pride aside, I am in need of some financial help. Please help me if the Lord gives you permission. I really want some money to push this thing here. Thank you, no, love you, no, bless you. No. She na power talk. Hey, Power Gang, remember to get your book on Amazon today, today, today. No other day but today. You can get it in Kindle form and you can get it in paperback form. And if you are in Jamaica and you want a copy of this amazing book, The Crown and the Cross, listen to me. Call me at 1 876 429 6004. Listen, Power Gang, you must have one of these books. Come on now. Crown on the cross.